Ask a question for Lucas Elvinus. Please use the raise hand function at the bottom of your screen. Uh, Lucas, this was your, your second year in the AHL. Uh, how did it feel compared to year one? Uh, it felt good. Uh, I felt that I had more uh, more mature in my game. Uh, I knew how the AHL works more. I uh, knew a lot of my friends uh, who I played with last year was here too. So it was, uh, it was a very fun year. It was uh, great to be in Vegas too. It was kind of different what I'm used to and the uh, heat and all that stuff. So it's been a, it's been a wonderful year. We'll go to Stephen Marsh, Ice Time Hockey. Stephen, you can ask uh, a couple if you like. Okay. Uh, Lucas, when you look at this season, obviously it was a very unique season, but I guess is it almost just a relief that you were able to have a season and be able just to play? Yeah, you didn't get the end result you wanted at the end there, winning that division championship, but just to be able to get out there and play hockey and have a season without really hardly any disruptions yeah. for you guys with, with COVID tests and everything. No, that was exactly what you were hoping for in the summer, that something would happen. Uh, I remember for me, I was like, had nothing to do. I started to lose my mind. I just wanted to play and get over here and do what I'm used to do. So that was amazing that we finally found something and we can find a way to play. And when you look at the, when you look at the uh, fan base here in Vegas and you, knew how pa and you knew how passionate they were and you guys got to kind of get a taste of that towards the end of the season, how, how nice was it to be able to have fans in there and, and end your season at T-Mobile and, and what does that do for you guys in the future and how excited does that make you guys for our next season with, with the, the full arena? No, it, it, it helps a lot. Uh, of course, they, they're crazy. Uh, the best fan base in the whole wide world for me uh, and uh, especially that last game when uh, we were playing in T-Mobile, they, they were loud and uh, so now, now that was an amazing feel. I'm just looking forward for next year when we hopefully be 100%. And what about for you for the summer? What What is going to be the plans for you to continue to work on your game and just take some time to rest and prepare for the upcoming season in the fall? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some time to, to rest too. Um, maybe one or two weeks and then, uh, then I'll lose my mind again. I have to start doing something, start moving my feet. So uh, it's just body strength, uh, lower body, uh, upper body, everything you can do. So uh, that's, my, that's my goal for the summer to get stronger everywhere. Patrick Williams, NHL.com. Patrick, you uh, ask until you've got no more questions. Great, thanks. Uh, Lucas, uh, how do you think you're a better player now than you were maybe at the start of the season? Uh, I think when you work with these coaches, it's uh, you have to be good in the system. You have to mm -hmm. know what you're doing uh, all over the ice. So I think uh, once you start getting to know that, you always feel like you're getting better and better, and the skill will come with it at the end too. So I think uh, – being more mature is uh, like another thing I can say that I'm being there, like I've been this year. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like to play for Manny this season, the first year coach? Oh, yeah, it was amazing. I uh, love the guy. Uh, we, uh, of course, we had, a, we had a great year and he was a huge part of that. Why mm -hmm. uh, we had that great year. So, uh, and all that play for Manny, uh, we, he's like a buddy for everyone. She's not like just a coach. Uh, you can talk to him about everything and all that stuff. So, so no, uh, it was great. It was great having him as coach first year. Uh, what were coming, what were kind of some of the biggest challenges for, you know, with all the different protocols this season and how did you have to overcome that in your game? Uh, biggest challenge, uh, it was, it was like a new thing to come in here, play here. Uh, new coaches, uh, new players. So you you got to get into what they like and their system right away. Uh, so I think that was the biggest challenge. And last thing, um, are you going back home or are you going to stay in Vegas? Uh, I haven't decided yet. Uh, love being here, so we'll see. We'll see. I may stay here.